Okay, so first video, uh, just to show you what we've found so far, only on the evidence, we haven't managed to get any water down where obviously he was originally saying where it was. Um, but let's just show you a few telltale signs here. Um, if we just quickly go up onto the sunroof, so we can see inside the sunroof gully that it's all nice and dirty. Uh, we believe there possibly was a blockage on the driver's side. Um, and basically what it was doing is we believe it was coming through. I can just show you. So we believe it was coming through on top of this bit here. Uh, so you can see, you can just see a gap there on top. Uh, so we believe if it was filling up, it would have come into there. Um, and then just to show you, obviously on top of the headlining, we have signs of obviously dirty water which had dried that's what's caused it to ring and we believe once it comes out of the cassette it uses the a-pillar to run down which is obviously the evidence we've seen um, which you've seen should I say and if we just quickly go up here uh, if we just go up underneath the dashboard and um, we can see this module box here um, and there's evidence that there has been water running down this box um, but we can't get any water back into that into that position um, so we believe that's that's obviously the reason being is because maybe it's been de-blocked um, also I've just managed to lift your carpet up here um, and there we go so we can see how much water is actually in that underlay uh, the problem with the underlay is it's very thick um, and obviously we've put two nights over dry on there uh, the only problem is as well, is if we look down here, we can see that there's a row of cables. Uh, now, these row of cables actually go into a gully. Um, and we can see down in that gully, if I can just put my torch somewhere so we can see what's going on. Okay. So there seems to be water in the bottom of that gully there um, where these cables run it hasn't gone all the way to the back of the carpet but it is still in the gully uh, so we'd obviously have to suck that out when we're drying it out uh, but as you can see there's there's a lot of water in there okay so we believe to obviously get this one sorted once we dry it all out we have put new sunroof pipes in um, and then I think what we'd have to do is then obviously test to see obviously if any water's come in um, I've spent probably about half a day trying to get water into this point um, and nothing's revealed itself um, So that's that one done there and just to show you on the passenger side uh, Gary had noticed that on your On your little net here So it's not fitted right here. So there's a little bit of sagging just here uh, so obviously as that shutting as you can see the nets the net kind of lifts up a little bit But that doesn't seem to be the problem And um, but you can see at the back there obviously where it's all come off and um, so we could do with obviously putting that back on And um, so that's what we've found so far